So in this video, I'm going to show you how Git works uh, at a higher level so that you have an understanding of branches and commits and merges and pull and push. Uh, we're using this tool here called learngitbranching.js.org. You can go there. And I highly recommend it. You can uh, do their little demo uh, and learn it by yourself. I'm going to do my own little demo and explain it as I go along. So the first thing and the first word you need to know is commit. So the word commit is special in Git. It means uh, a commit is a snapshot of all the files in your directory, right? So that is how all source control systems work. You, when you commit your files, you create a snapshot of everything and commits are forever. And that's the whole point of a source control. So the commits will hopefully last forever and you can always go back and revisit them, you know, years later. Uh, you can see how things looked in this particular commit on that particular commit a long time ago. You know, uh, in this little example here, we are representing commits as circles. So we have two commits, C0 and C1, and you can see we named them C0 and C1. In actual Git, you will recall the commits get a hash number, which is a 40 digit, 40 digit hexadecimal number, uh, which is you know too long to fit here. So they're just doing C0 and C1. Uh, the other thing to note about a commit is that uh, each commit has a pointer to its parent. So, you know, C1 came from C0, uh, except, of course, the first commit ever on, on your repo, and that commit has no parent, right? That's like the root commit. But after that, all commits will have one parent or two parents. Uh, in the case of merge commits, as we will see in a second. So these are commits. And this one points to that one, meaning that this one came first, then this one uh, came from that. And then we have here master. Master is a branch. And as you can see, a branch is just a pointer to a commit. And uh, that is all it is. Ma a branch is just a pointer to a commit. And uh, we also have this little star here, and that little star is all is the head, uh, all capital letters. You'll often see that. So the head is what you're actually currently looking at in your directory, right? Uh, that's all it means. So and the head will be pointing to a branch. In this case, the head is now pointing to a master branch. Or oh, typically, you can have a um, detached head. Uh, so I'm going to go back over here and do another commit to show you how this works. So I can do a commit. It creates it. You see, I created a new C2 commit, and the master and the head moved over here, right? So the idea is like I made some changes to the files, and then I did a commit, and then uh, Git automatically moves that pointer. So these pointers are special because they move automatically. So if I am here, and uh, if my head was at C1 and head was pointed to master, it moves both of these to C2. And if I do another one, the same thing will happen. Right. I can create a new uh, commit, and it just moves down. So that's your basic just linear commits, uh, which you do when uh, you're the only person in the repo. Uh, now, uh, let's say you want to create a new branch. So we can do that. We can say git, uh, sorry, git check out dash b and uh, the joe branch i'm going to create a new branch called joe and you see it just did that again a branch is just a pointer so now joe is pointing to c3 and uh so is the head oh i uh, accidentally checked out c3 there uh, with a right click i'm gonna check out joe again okay so I'm a Joe and the head is a Joe, so I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna just do some work. And the Joe branch, I'm gonna do another commit. So here, here I am working hard. So I got two commits down. And let's say we go back to master branch and uh, we add some more commits there. Not something you would normally do, but just to show you how a merge works. So now I have this scenario here. I have uh, the Joe branch pointing to C5 and the master branch, which I'm currently at, pointing to C7. You can see both of these go back to C3. So they have a common origin, but then we started doing different things, right? And let's say at this point, I want to merge 
Joe with the master. So we made these changes and these changes. I want to put all, bring all those changes together. Uh, so that's when I, uh, being that I am in master, I want to merge in the Joe changes. So I type in git merge in the branch Joe and it does. At that point, it creates this merge commit. And you see this merge commit has two parents, C5 and C7, unlike uh, all the other commits with, which only have one parent. And that's the main difference, right? So that merge commit will have two parents and it joins these two together as so. So this is, you know, this is the basic structure of Git. It's just commits and uh, either merge commits or regular commits with one or two parents and that's it. So uh, the main thing that yeah, gets people confused is, um, well, you have to remember that this is really what it looks like. If you go over here to say GitHub and a lot of the other GUIs, you look at the commit and this log, or when you type just git log, it just shows you a line of commits like this. And people get the impression that, you know, things are just ordered in a line like this. Uh, they're not, right? So when they printed this out, uh, all they are doing is they're taking this stuff here in, that's in parallel and uh, putting it together in one line. So they're saying C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, then C6, then C7, or whatever order. Um, if you want to see it how it really is at GitHub, you can click over to Insight, Network, and there it is. So this particular graph, which is on their network for some reason, uh, is it actually shows you all the commits, and uh, how you know their their history. And uh, in this case, a pretty large graph. You can use the arrows to move back and forth. Um, so, and up and down. Uh, you can see this commit here is a, is a merge commit. Uh, I merges this one and uh, some other one over there. Uh, too far to see back in time. Uh, but this is this is how it really looks. So the the history of this project is this. It's it is complicated, but that is because it is complicated. You have a bunch of different people working at the same time, and this reflects that. And um, you know you can try, you can put them in a line and pretend it's not complicated, but but you're just hiding the complexity. Uh, it is. We're working in parallel here, so um, I'm gonna get that. Okay, now let's look at pushing and pulling from GitHub. So I've reset this. Uh, what I can do here is if I type git clone in this setup, it just creates uh, a GitHub version here on the right and my local version on the left. So you see, right now we have the same two commits, both here and over there. And uh, locally, my head uh, is pointing to C1 and over there, master is pointing to C1. So everything is pretty standard. Uh, let's uh, go through uh, sort of the regular workflow. What I would do is um, I would first create my branch. I say git checkout, and I'm going to call my branch Joe. And then I'm going to do some commit, do some work on the Joe branch, right? So I have a couple commits that I've created. And uh, the master branch is all the way back here, which is still the same as over there. Uh, and let's say, you know, while I was doing that, uh, there was some uh, work my teammates were doing. Uh, there's a, this command called fake teamwork here. That's not a real git command, but over here it just creates a new commit over there at the server. So the idea is, you know, my teammates were doing some work and they pushed some code up and they merged it into master. So they did C4 and then they went ahead and did more work. They did C5. So now I have my Joe branch here. This is my work from C1. And there's this other work that my teammates have done and already merged into master. So the first thing I could do is I could just push Joe over to GitHub, right? Git push and uh, it'll push the Joe branch over to GitHub. And you see it did just that. And now GitHub has two branches, master and Joe. And if you go over to GitHub, over here, there is this thing that lets you choose various from the various branches. So after you do that push, then you should be able to see your branch right here. 
and uh, switch to it. You can switch to them like that. Uh, so that's an easy way to you know push stuff to GitHub, and then your teammates can go to GitHub, switch branches, and see what you've been up to. Uh, so that's the first part. You know, let's say everybody looks at this it, like, okay, yeah, looks good. Um, now I want to merge that into master. So I'm here. I am uh, right now. I am at the Joe branch here. So what I'm going to have to do is first go to the master branch because I want to merge into master. So I check out the master branch. And then the first thing I need to do, you got to remember to do is that I need to pull, right? Because, yeah, like you see in this case, master is pointing to C1, but over at GitHub, it's already at C5. So I got to pull in on all those changes. So always pull master before you do anything to make sure it's synchronized with GitHub. So, and then I pass forward is that. So you see it did the, the two stages. The first stage it did uh, was copy everything and move origin slash master to here. Uh, so saying that, you know, origin is GitHub in this case. So GitHub is pointing to C5 and master was pointing to here. And then it merged in. So then it just fast forward the ma my local master to point to that. Uh, which is to say, you know, remember, O master is what I think GitHub is at right now and master is uh, what I am my local master branch those do not need to be exactly the same um, so I checked out master I did a git pool it was just a fast forward hopefully every time you do that it's always going to be just a fast forward because you're doing all your changes in your master branch I mean in your name branch like Joe uh, so it's always fast forward and then now I merge. So check out master, pull, merge in Joe. I am merged in Joe. I created the merge commit just before and so now my master branch is here. And now I push. Oops, space in there. And I push my master branch over to GitHub and it's just going to push those things over there. And you see, right now, now everything is, is just as it is. Uh, at this point, now, uh, depending on your workflow, you can uh, either delete the branch, Joe, uh, which is uh, sort of the standard uh, the GitHub workflow calls for just deleting your feature branch because this should be named after the feature and the feature has already been implemented. So you can just delete this pointer and then create a new one. Uh, so, or uh, you can, you know, keep it around. And if you do keep it around, uh, you probably want to check out Joe first and then merge in master. So that then Joe will be pointing to C6. The and then, yeah, push it if you want. Send it to GitHub. Uh, so Joe is then at C6. And now uh, we're back. Everything is at the same point. We're synchronized and we can do it all over again.